We have a hot new product here at SoulGarden.tv. It's called Secrets of Birthdays, the Love and Lust Report. You send us your date of birth, we send you a custom video that's all about you. Why can't you find love? Is sex no longer fun? Have you noticed you're always the bridesmaid and never the bride? Do you always draw in the losers? How long have you really been single? Really? This video gets deep and answers all your love and sex questions. Your love trouble? Over. All that and more at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, my captains, and welcome back from the weekend. Thank you for logging in. Well, today it's going to be a day of sunny nesting and resting. You might even call it a four-day weekend for you caps. That's because the moon has now shifted into Aries, so it's shifting emotions into self-nurturing energy. So if you're not self-nurturing, it could make you super tired today. Let's not forget, also over the weekend, the moon crossed over Jupiter and Uranus's conjunction. So it might have been a major emotional paradigm shift there on Mother's Day when it comes to how you see yourself in the context of your mind. might have broken free from some intellectual, narrow-minded barriers, and your emotions might have broken you free from that. And all that breaking free you might have left you feeling kind of tired or worn out maybe it played out literally with your mother or played out literally with some sort of event you did today though you do want to nest and you want to rest so invest in yourself and invest in yourself first okay maybe there's a lot of things to be done around the house maybe your family really needs you but if you're depleted you're not good to anyone capricorn and you tend to overwork sometimes and ignore your own needs that's just part of the capricorn vibration now over to the sun we're now in chapter three of sun in taurus there's no ruling planet today which means it's time to hold space and now it's time for capricorns to get into their inner child to get into their heart and to start to come up with what you want to manifest what does your heart really want? What is your heart's desire and what are we going to manifest here in the next six months? That's the question. And I do want you to find a short-term goal here, a personal dream that you want to manifest, joy that you want to manifest. In fact, I'd like you to start to contemplate a couple of goals. I want you to do a 30-day goal. What's, some, what's something your heart wants in 30 days, 90 days, and in the next six months, okay? But today you want to hold space. How is your heart? Is it online? Is it hurting? Is there even space for you to come out and play? If not, why? That's really what we want to do is when there's not a planet ruling the day, we're kind of owning where we are, we're assessing. And Venus. Venus says right now Capricorns need to take action to plant seeds to a new lifestyle or a new health regimen that you want to implement here when the sun goes in Gemini. So you're planting seeds. So that means you might be joining a gym but not going just yet. You might be looking into moving but not moving just yet. You might be looking into uh, working in a different space but not doing it just yet. You want to look into, you want to plant seeds, you want to take action on that. And it's Monday. Julie Zipper's live today with a new episode of Meditation Vibration. This is her question and answer episode. So if you posted a question in the last 30 days, she just may have answered. She'll be getting deep. And remember, Taurus applies to your personal dreams. So you need all the help you can get. All right, Captain, that's all I have for Monday. I'm back Tuesday with more. Live, love, be. So